I am listening with this IC706 Mark II G on 2 meters 144.151 and I have arranged with the keyer to send dots at a slow rate as you can hear. On this screen you can see on the top track the key closure and the track below is the output from the 706 and at this speed we cannot see the uh, time delay, it's very small. Here I have STR Sharp with an air spy and I start it and now you can hear there is a second K closure and I think you can see on the oscilloscope that the time delay from the IC706 to the air spy is about 390 milliseconds. Uh, it can be easier to see it here and it's actually a little bit more. Oops. I move the cursor, I think, the wrong cursor. So it's nearly 400 milliseconds. This is not very encouraging. Now, uh, this is the standard set setup for the uh, SDR Sharp. I can go in here and first stop it and then change the latency from 100 to let's say 25 uh, making it too small will make the system not work and you can see it's now much better Turning the wrong knob, like that. Uh, the marker. The delay is now only 200 milliseconds. It's twice as good. Uh, looking at the available drivers, uh, I was using the motherboard uh, sound card. There is an M-Track quad, this one, and ACU should be much faster. The box is up here. Uh, it's a set for default, 48 kilohertz, but uh, the software should be able to set it to any speed it likes. No, nothing else is using the M-Track quad. But uh, when I try to start now, uh, I get this message, invalid sample rate, and PA invalid means port audio is behind this. And I don't know uh, how to change this. Uh, what is wrong? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I have to go back to the speakers and start again. And we are back as before. There is one more thing. There is this box filter audio. And I skip that. And then the delay becomes a little bit less. About 190 milliseconds. Uh, not really fun for CW, but uh, not really as bad as with the default parameters. This is Linrad on the same computer with the same Air Spy, using the same sound card for the output, the motherboard sound card with the same driver, the MME driver. Uh, performance. It's not so impressive, 
uh, the time delay is 170 milliseconds as you can see. Uh, parameters are the default ones for Linrad. I press T to look at timing and Linrad expects the time to be 140 which is not quite correct. Um, the DMA rates are about 100 Hertz but I can see that there is 100 milliseconds of extra data in the output buffer. That is normally due to the output delay margin. I can change that, means X and then P for parameters and I press enter until I come here and change the output delay margin from 100 to let's say 10. And then look at what happens. I press T again and it's now down at 60, far from the 10 I asked for. Uh, sorry, uh, the margin, the minimum is 30 and not the 10 I asked for. And the total delay should be about 60 milliseconds. So, looking at the oscilloscope, I find it is not correct, it's about 90 milliseconds. Now, the reason for this is the driver. The MME drivers are slow. So I change that, X, X, and then U, and B. And then I ask for port audio for the output, that's yes. And I have to select what library to use. I have several of them here. I take the most recent one. And then uh, I want the Realtek uh, I need a pointer. Uh, speakers, this one, WDMKS, uh, that is number 24. Latency factor, I just put one there. And then I ask for a higher DMA rate, let's say 800. Sorry, C and then 800. And again 800. I set the upper and the lower limit the same. X and save. Save this with W. And then go back and see what happens. And look at the screen. So this is what I see now. Uh, the delay is at about 48 milliseconds according to this digital scope. Uh, I press T here and Linrad expects uh, 28. So something is not quite correct. The margin is, however, very small, so uh, it might go down to zero. I have to ask for a little bit more. Or maybe before doing that, I can reduce the size of the uh, baseband FFT. I click here. And I can make it even a little bit like that. The filter is not quite as sharp anymore, but as you can see the difference it made is not big. The first FFT bandwidth is 100 Hertz. That means that the transform spans 20 milliseconds. So I make this, let's say, uh, 500 Hertz, sorry, 500 Hertz, 
and then I use another window to not create any uh, false responses. So I ask for number 9 here. And ask for a smaller bandwidth reduction also. I make this 4. And it became one here, I put two. I need both channels of the loudspeaker. Now I have to change the speed of the oscilloscope to see easier. The delay is 45 milliseconds, about. And Linrad believes it should be 30 something. Uh, presumably there is a delay in the buffering done by the air spy. I have now changed the air spy real defined to true. It means that now uh, the sampling frequency is 12 megahertz but it's no longer INQ. I'm reading the real data from the air spy. This means that the conversion from real to complex is no longer done in the drive routine. It's done directly in Linrad. This makes uh, one less buffer somewhere and uh, the timing is now a little bit better. Not a big difference but now it's 38 milliseconds and this is good enough for QSK CW. You listen there are uh, a little bit different, but not very much. <laughs>